Hi, my name is Michelle Nelson. Today we're going to be talking about what to do when the tenant is not paying rent. Options for Phoenix property owners. Hopefully your tenant screening process is rigorous and detailed. Enough that you're placing your tenant in a Phoenix rental property who have a history of paying rent on time. The best way to avoid late rent payment is to screen tenants well before they even move in. Good tenants run into financial problems, and you might find yourself in a situation where rent hasn't been paid on time. This can be disruptive to your own finances, and you want to resolve the situation as soon as possible. Today we're talking about your options and why your timing is so crucial. Check your lease, which should include your rent collection policy and information on any grace periods you might provide. Once rent is officially late, you still don't have it, serve a pay or quit notice to your tenants. This gives your tenants formal notice that your rent has not been paid and they must either pay their amounts that are due or leave the property. In Arizona, this is typically a five day notice, which means your tenants have five business days to resolve the outstanding debt before you can take further action. Usually, tenants will pay within those five days because they don't want the eviction process to move along. However, if you don't receive the rent, you'll need to go to court and file a complaint for a special detainer, which is an eviction proceeding. You'll receive a court date and your tenants will receive a copy of their complaint and a summons to court. We strongly recommend that you get legal help if your case moves forward towards an eviction. While the process isn't terribly complicated, even one small and innocent mistake can get your case thrown out. And then you have to start the process all over again. Establish a relationship with a good eviction attorney ahead of time and do not wait days or even weeks to take action in this situation. During the course of the eviction, your tenants might contact you and offer to pay part of the rent that's overdue. Whether or not you accept this is entirely up to you. However, we do recommend you have a strongly worded agreement in place before you accept any monies. Have your attorney or a property management draft a waiver agreement so you can move forward with the eviction if your tenants do not honor the payment plan. If it looks like you and your tenants are not going to work out a payment agreement or the ultimate action will be an eviction and a vacant property, start looking for your new tenant as soon as possible. You're already losing rent on the tenant who isn't paying and you don't want to suffer through a long vacancy once the tenant is removed. There's a good chance you'll be able to rent the property out before your existing tenant has been evicted. This is a complex and emotional process if you're managing your own rental property. Tenants have a lot of advocacy groups to help them when they're facing an eviction. If you'd like some support as an owner, contact us at Service Star Realty. We'd be happy to help.